myself, Dr. Vivek Yadav, JR3, Department of Radiology. My topic for oral presentation is evaluation of focal hepatic uh, lesion by triple phase CT scan. My co author are uh, Dr. Mukta Mittal and Dr. Sachin Agarwal. Center of Affiliation is Satrapati Shivaji Sivarti Hospital, Merit, Uttar Pradesh. Introduction with the widespread cro uh, of uh, cross sectional imaging, a growth in, uh, a in, in rate of incidentally detected focal liver lesion has been observed. A reliable detection and characterization of focal liver lesion is critical for optimal patient management. The majority of focal liver lesion arising in the non uh, cirrhotic uh, uh, liver uh, are benign, even in patients with a known extra hepatic malignancy, cyst hemangioma, focal nodal hyperplasia, and Hepatocellular endoma are most commonly encountered benign lesion. Most commonly encountered benign lesion in non serotic uh, liver are metastasis. Hepatocellular carcinoma and, uh, and intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma are mainly in setting up chronic liver disease and represent most common primary liver malignancy. Benign lesions, hepatic hemangioma. It is the most common benign lesion. It is uh, diagnosed at, a, at any age. A majority of lesion occurs at the uh, between the uh, 30 to 50 year of age, in adults, hemangio occurs more frequently in the female, with ratio of approximately 3 to 1. Lesion more often occurs solitary, but multiple hemangioma may also be present. Focal nodal hyperplasia is benign liver lesion that is composed of a proliferation of hyperplastic hepatocyte surrounding a central stellate scar. Typically, focal nodal hyperplasia is a solitary lesion that is more commonly occurs in the women. Hepatocellular adenoma, an uncommon solid benign liver lesion that develop in an otherwise normal uh, appearing liver. Typically, uh, typically uh, these are the solitary and are found in young female in association with the use of the estrogen containing medication. In addition, patients with glycogen estrogen disease and metabolic syndrome are at high risk for developing hepatocellular adenoma. Degenerative nodules develop in response to liver injury and are Compromises of a proliferation of hepatocyte and surrounding stroma. They are typically seen in the setting of a cirrhosis. Malignant lesion, hepatocellular carcinoma, is a primary tumor of the liver that develop in the setting of the chronic liver disease, particularly in patients with cirrhosis of any cause of or uh, chronic hepatitis B or uh, hepatitis C virus infection. Cholangiocarcinoma is tragic. It arises from the epithelial cells of uh, intrahepatic duct and extrahepatic bile duct and uh, may be found inc uh, incidentally during the early stage of disease. In the United States and Europe, the main risk factors are the primary scler sclerosing cholangitis and fibropolycystic liver disease, while hepatolithiasis <coughs> is commonly associated with cholangiocarcinoma in Asian Asia. Metastasis, the liver is a common site for metastasis from solid tumor and Patient with a history of malignancy are at high risk of, uh, for metastatic disease. Aims and objective to evaluate, evaluate focal hepatic uh, lesion across all age groups by triple phase CT to assess the imaging characteristic of triple phase CT in dif uh, different setting benign from malignant focal hepatic lesion to correlate triple phase CT imaging finding with histopathological finding wherever possible. Materials and metals. Sample size uh, minimum uh, of uh, 50 patients. Duration of study is uh, from uh, October 2020 to September 2020. Inclusion criteria all focal hepatic lesions diagnosed on ultrasonography or previous imaging, all cases of uh, chronic hepatic uh, disease. Uh, in, inclusion criteria are the pregnancy, deviant uh, renal function test, patients who do not give consent, patients with finding of simple cyst on ultrason ultrasonography. Methodology, a detailed clinical history will be recorded. Check renal function test. After taking informed consent from patient, required triple phase uh, CT scan will be done by radiology department. And with this MDCT examination will be done on uh, Philips immunity 128 slice. Imaging and diagnosis uh, finding will be made as per department protocol. Histopathology collision will be done wherever possible. The result will be tabulated, analyzed, and subjected to uh, statistical analysis wherever possible. Triple phase CT uh, protocol uh, first is the pre contrast, uh, uh, second phase is the uh, arterial phase of contrast and It is a delay of 35 uh, seconds or a bolus trigger. 
hepatic artery and portal vein and us but uh, not uh, hepatic vein if uh, if no uh, portal vein and us is too early if if uh, if see hepatic vein is too late best phase to detect hypervascular lesion portal venous phase of contrast analysis empiric release of uh, 70 to 80 uh, seconds portal portal vein hepatic vein hepatic parenchyma and us best phase to enhance the parenchyma detect hypervascular lesion and evaluate for lesion was out or capsular enhancement. Delays equilibrium phase, empirical delay of three to five uh, minutes. Best phase to evaluate continuous lesion was out, uh, capsular enhancement and delay enhancement. Adonis CT is completed to the pelvic level. If hemangioma is suspected, additional delays MS to assess for filling in of uh, hemangioma. Result, a total of 50 patients uh, were included in the study out of this. Uh, out of out of this, uh, twenty six percent were male, and uh, twenty four percent uh, were female. Distribution of benign lesion in six percent and malignant lesion uh, in forty four percent. Out of six percent of benign lesion, five percent of uh, meningioma, four are typical and one are atypical, and one percent of degenerative nodule. In malignant patient, thirty one percent of um, uh, primary malignancy and sixty nine percent of secondary. In metastatic lesion patient of uh, patient uh, metastatic lesion patient, fifty three percent come comes from uh, primary GB mass, and more than seventy percent are hypervascular. Out of eleven percent of hepatocellular uh, carcinoma, approximately ninety percent occur in serotic patient, and fifty five percent associated with the hepatic uh, C virus, and approximately seventy percent associated with the increased alpha beta protein. Is a case uh, in uh, plain images. There is a high uh, lesions in uh, in the in the both segment of uh, both lobe of the liver. Uh, on arterial phase is so peripheral nodal enhancement. In in delayed phase there is a uh, progressive central failing. This is a case such to have the hemangioma. This is a known uh, case of the hepatitis B virus uh, with um, raised alpha beta protein. There, we can see the on plain image, uh, there is a, uh, a nodular margin uh, of liver with coordinate and um, uh, left lobe of liver are enlarged, associated with ascites. On, uh, on, uh, there is a hypotis lesion uh, uh, seen in the, uh, uh, in the right lobe, which enhances uh, heterogeneity in us on uh, arterial phase, arterial phase uh, and, uh, and wash out on delay phase. This is a case of hepatocellular carcinoma. This is a large hypodense lesion seen in the uh, uh, scene, uh, complete, almost completely replacing the wall bladder, which is heterogeneous enhancing uh, with multiple uh, with multiple non -con non contiguous enhancing lesion seen in the uh, both lobe of liver. This is the case of uh, uh, GB mass with uh, metastasis in the liver. Discussion in my study, uh, most common benign lesion uh, of liver uh, are, uh, is a uh, hemangioma. Most common primary malignant lesion is a hepatocellular carcinoma. Most common malignant lesion of uh, 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 most common malignant lesion are the metastatic lesion. Metastatic lesion mostly common uh, mostly, mostly comes from the GB mass lesion primarily. Hepatocellular uh, carcinoma commonly occurs in the uh, hepatitis C patient. Mostly, hepatocellular carcinoma is, is associated with the uh, chronic liver disease and, uh, and raised alpha beta protein. Hepatic hemangioma typically demonstrates very peripheral nodal enhancement in, in the early phase, followed by the centripetal uh, pattern of the fielding during the late phase. Hepatocellular carcinoma may show peripheral enhancement that reflects the large subcultural fading vessels with centripetal pattern of enhancement. Focal nodal hyperplasia. Administration of the liver specific melodrium based the magnetic resonance contrast agent produced rapid enhancements of focal nodal hyperplasia due to reduced arterial blood supply, resulting in a hypotense lesion on early films. On delays image, it becomes more isointense with respect to normal liver. The central scar enhance on delays image as contrast gradually diffuse into the fibrous center of the mass. Hepatocellular carcinoma is typically demonstrated on uh, demonstrate a non rim arterial phase hyper enhancement related to the liver parenchyma. Intrahepatic cholangio carcinoma, uh, there is a peripheral enhancement throughout the both arterial and venous phase. In uh, liver metastasis, 
enhancement pattern of the liver metastasis varies depending on the primarily malignancy metastatic liver lesion of uh, from uh, colon stomach and pancreas usually show lower attenuation in contrast to brighter surrounding liver parenchyma or multifacetic ct of the liver hypervascular metastasis such as those from the neuroendocrine tumor renal carcinoma breast carcinoma melanoma and thyroid carcinoma appear as rapidly enhancing lesion visible on uh, on the arterial phase of enhancement conclusion multiphase contrast enhancing ct uh, finding that help differentiate among the lesion include the lesions uh, pattern of the vascular enhancement and wash out uh, after the contrast analysis the number of lesions and associated finding in the liver this is references thank you. thank you